Hey guys, Tim with Red Wing RC, and you're probably watching this because you're fairly new to RC or maybe to gas planes, and you wanna know how to properly set up a plane. That's exactly what this video is gonna to cover today is some of the initial flights and diagnostics. We're gonna cover how to properly find and decide where you want your center of gravity or CG, and also your lateral balance. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and start this plane. This is a brand new plane, and as yours will be, um, we're gonna do uh, just a one to three minute flight, let some vibrations run over this thing, and do an inspection of all the, the bolts and hardware again. So today, to demonstrate how to adjust your CG and lateral balance, we're using the Red Wing RC 30cc Slick, powered by the PTE 36. We're of course using Red Wing wood propellers, and we have XQ Power servos. So we were up for a few minutes and everything looks pretty good. There's a couple nuts I'll probably tighten down a bit, but I'm mainly looking at uh, servo screws. Those, those are the first things that are gonna vibrate out. Uh, but even these nylon uh, nuts can vibrate on you too. So the, for the first 10, 12 flights at least, I would recommend just looking over every nut and bolt that you can visually inspect after every flight, just to be sure that something doesn't go wrong and you crash your plane. Now, if you prefer, you don't have to do that and you can just order a new one from Red Wing RC, but uh, you know, it might be wise to do that. So if you've ever asked anybody how to set your CG on your plane, uh, you may have heard somebody say, just take the plane, fly a 45, and then flip it inverted. And if it starts to fall off a little bit towards the nose, it's good. Or if it keeps going, it's tail heavy or whatever. But the problem is, when you ask somebody how much is a little, they'll say, you know, not, not a lot, just a little. Well, what's not a lot? you know, a little. So it's, it's not a very quantifiable or scientific way of doing it. So what we're gonna show you is how to really key in on what is neutral and let you kind of um, set your plane based on that knowledge, kind of quantifiable information and go from there. So now we're gonna test the center of gravity. But before we do that, you're of course gonna take the plane up. You've probably already trimmed it for neutral flight because after all, most of your time spent flying is upright. So you've already trimmed the plane to fly straight when it's upright, and that's okay. You've probably already also trimmed the wings out to be level when it's upright, and that's okay. But the first thing we're gonna do right after trimming it for, for comfortable flight upright is we're gonna start seeing where our trim is at and where our CG is at. So to do that, we're gonna fly the plane upright about three quarter throttle into the wind or ideally in a very low wind. And as mentioned before, you probably already have it trimmed to go nice and straight. Now take the plane and go inverted about the same throttle and level. And what you'll probably notice is most planes tend to be nose heavy from the get go. People build them to be on the safe side, making them a little bit nose heavy. So what you're gonna see is this plane is gonna to start to dip down towards the nose. What that indicates is that you've trimmed the plane to be neutral upright, but the plane itself is nose heavy. And so when you go inverted, it's still dipping towards the nose. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start trimming the plane uh, because we know we have up trim to make it fly level upright. We're gonna start inputting down trim. So now we're gonna fly it again. And what you'll notice is upright, it's gonna start to nose down a little bit. And inverted, it's gonna start to nose down less. So now these lines are getting closer. Now let's fly it again, add a little bit more trim, down trim. And once again, it's going to nose down a little bit more when upright and a little bit less when inverted until these two lines converge. At this point, you have a, by definition, neutral plane. Now, obviously this is not an ideal situation because it's curving towards the ground either way. So now we're gonna take this plane and land it and start adding tail weight to the back. Okay, so we added on a little bit of weight and we flew it and the arc was reduced, but still not totally flat. So we're gonna add on another half ounce. And uh, I like to add it to the tail wheel here because it's easy to peel off without peeling off covering. Uh, you can put it on, on the sides if you're kind of gentle, um, but we'll add another half ounce and see if it starts getting a little straighter. And we'll keep adding weight until we get perfectly level flight, both upright and inverted.
Okay, so now that you have that, we're gonna land the plane and we're gonna mark exactly where the CG is on the wing. Now when you get home, you'll be able to take the weight off and move your batteries and components around inside the plane until it balances again on that point in the wing. That will give you the neutral CG you're looking for without adding any extra weight. Okay, so now that we've covered the CG, one of the second most important things that you can look at is the lateral balance of your plane. Now, what you wanna do is first make sure that your wings are pretty straight, that you don't have twist in your ailerons or nothing significant, because that can actually emulate um, the appearance of having a heavy wing. So first make sure you do that. After you're sure your wings are pretty straight, what you wanna do is we're gonna take the plane up in the air and we're gonna trim it for level flight at about three quarter throttle at you know full speed or fairly full speed. Now that it's traveling straight and level at three quarter or full throttle, you wanna come around for a landing or a simulated landing and slow the plane way down. What you're gonna see is more than likely one of your wings is going to fall due to the weight. Um, the reason is, is as you begin to slow down, the airspeed stops flying the plane, the air stops flying the plane over the tips of the wings and the weight has a larger effect on the plane itself. So as you can see here, uh, it appears that our left wing is heavy. It's falling kind of to the left here. Let's go ahead and bring that in, put a little weight on it. Okay, so we put a little bit of weight on the right wing now to offset the left wing being heavy. We just put this at the very tip because what we'll do is we'll cut open the covering and hide that weight inside the plane later. But for now, we just wanna find out where it needs to be. So let's fly it again and bring it in for a slow landing. And as you can see, the plane is really starting to level out here. It looks much, much straighter. So this is the idea. You just wanna keep adding weight to the light wing until you get a nice flat landing. Now take it back up in the air. And we're gonna go back to three quarter throttle or full speed and start trimming it out again. You might find that you have to change your trim just a little bit uh, because you probably had some, some trim to offset the heavy wing. Um, although it's not gonna affect it as much in high speed anyway. So probably just a, a click or two of trim. So now what you should find is that the plane is flying straight and level, both at three quarter or full speed, as well as slow landings. Now this is gonna make a huge improvement when you're flying slow alpha flight um, in Harriers or hovers. In a hover, if you have an extremely heavy wing, it's constantly gonna to wanna to be falling to that wing, meaning you're gonna to have to offset with rudder constantly. So this will really clean up a lot of flight. 